everyone, welcome back to Living in Korea. I'm your host, Emily from Canada. Today, our topic is all about what is it like to live in Seoul? Okay, so we're gonna go around and find some nice foreigners and we're gonna ask them about their experiences living in one of the best cities in the world. Let's go. Hi, ladies. Hello. How are you doing on this beautiful snowy day? It's cold. cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cold. It's yeah. really cold. Um, okay, so can you take turns telling me your name, home country, and how long you've been in Korea for? Okay, so my name is Eloise. I come from France, and it's been a little over three months since I've come to Korea. Ooh, a new baby! Yay! <laughs> And I'm Mael, I'm from France too, mm -hmm. and it's been a little over three months that I came in Korea mm -hmm. because we are cousin actually, so... They live together! <laughs> Joketta! I'm mm. Stephanie mm -hmm. and I'm from the US mm -hmm. and I've been in Korea eight and a half years. Ooh, nice yeah. long time! <laughs> My name is Ulim Chibatan and I'm from Mongolia and um, I've been living in Korea for one and a half years. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about what it's like to actually live here in Seoul, Korea. So I'm just going to ask you some questions about that. What is it that you do here in Seoul? Well, I'm an actor and voice actor and model. So you're studying here? Yeah. Ah, so what university do you go to? I study in at Myeonggi University oh, okay. and I st study in Korean language school. Wow, oh, that's really great. Yeah. Besides that, I do modeling as a mm. freelancer. I, actually, it's the third time I came in Korea, mm. so I already know a lot mm. about Seoul. How has your experience been so far living in mm. Seoul? It's been really comfortable. Like, mm. I mean, I never lived in a big city in the US, actually. Mm. Um, I lived in small or like medium-sized cities. Mm. But Seoul is like the biggest city I've ever lived in. It's huge. And it's really just comfortable, convenient. It's good. People like, are nice. Mm. And there's a lot of places to go. It's mm. really pretty. And a lot of things to do as well, like restaurant, cafe. Mm. I like the cafe. Mm. <laughs> like she said, like we, you can do a lot of things, mm. different things. Like if you enjoy to go to party, you can. If you just want to stay in a calm place, you can go to cafe. If you want to see beautiful place, you have the Han River mm. or the mountains and so on. Rating is kind of difficult, but... One out of 10. One uh, out of 10. From one to 10, sorry, uh, not one out of 10. <laughs> nine. Oh, yes. that's pretty high. I think I would say the same, eight or nine, because nothing is perfect. 10 to 10. Oh, <laughs> 10 yeah. out of 10. Korea, as Seoul is a really pleasant place to study mm. and work as well. People who live in Seoul, they know how to dress well. Mm. well the fashion industry is so huge. Yeah. I really love that. Uh, there's so many couples. So many hmm? couples. A couple? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm single and like <laughs> when you go shopping, when you go eat, when you go walk around, you can you can you can see always see couple. Oh yeah. no. Like, oh. oh no. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put his contact information below. You go, girls, you need to give this boy a call. He's lonely. He needs a girlfriend. Besides that, everything is perfect. Do you think that Seoul is a safe place to live? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's almost like unbelievable how safe it is to live. There's still people walking around and it feels so safe at like 10 after 10 p.m. at night in this big city. Also, like I had some friends who were in grad school and they had been studying for hours at this cafe. And then I went to meet them there and they're like, hey, let's go for dinner. And they just left their books, their bags, their laptops at the table in the cafe. And we walked like 20 minutes away to this restaurant. Wow. And ate dinner and came back and all their stuff was still there really so, yeah their laptops and everything yeah i mean they took their phones and like you know yeah. wallet but just only because like, they needed it if they didn't yeah, need it, maybe they exactly. could have left it. but there's mm -hmm. cctv here CCTV yeah cctv's here. everywhere yeah. so yeah i think that helps a lot of course uh, in my opinion mm -hmm. uh, seoul is including the top five mm -hmm. safest city in the world mm -hmm. so, for example I've been lost my phone so many times, oh. <laughs> so many times in a hangout, and I got from police station all the time. Really? Yeah, like someone just find my phone and bring the police station, and that's so nice. That's yeah. so nice. 
life. Koreans have very, very busy, busy lives. Yeah. So for someone to take time out of their busy day to take your phone to the police station, that's like, that's really kind. That's kindness. What's your favorite area of Seoul? Right now, I think I just love the Hangang. Ooh, the Han River, yeah, it's beautiful. Either Hangang or the Namsan Tower. Ah, Namsan Tower. So for Hangang, for the River Han, can mm. you explain to our viewers at home who've never been here, <laughs> what can they do at the river that's so special? The Han River is just a river who cross uh, the city from uh, east to west, and it's really huge. Like you can do a lot of things. Actually, um, you can just eat chicken and drink beer like it's something Koreans do a lot and it's mm -hmm. kind of funny to do this mm -hmm. especially in summer not right now yeah, of course it's so cold now. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> you have Hanol Park mm -hmm. too I love Hanol Park actually mm -hmm. and yeah you can just take beautiful pictures you can just eat there yeah you can do a lot of different activities and just enjoy the view because from the Han River you can see uh, each side of Seoul, and you can see the difference between each side of the city. Ooh. So, yeah. For me, I like the Gwanghamyeon area. Ah. Gwanghamyeon. Yeah, because there's like all the palaces that are so beautiful, and like yeah. it's so different from like the architecture back in France, you know? Yes. And you got like all these places you can go to eat mm. and to take a cafe. Mm -hmm. You also got the Chongyechan stream. Mm, That's yeah. really nice to walk alongside the river. Yes. And you can go up to the mountain around it here. Like the Ingwang San and the Bukat San. Yes. Yeah. Do you like hiking? Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. nice. Yeah, and especially when you go up, it's so satisfying after like the, the effort to see like the view yeah. of a soul. It's really pretty. When I hang out, I usually spend time in Hongdae, mm. Hongdae area because I live there. Mm. And, like, Hongdae is so much fun place, so oh. much. I'm kind of person who likes to bar hopping. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's so fun and it doesn't cost that much. It yeah. doesn't cost much? Yeah, much. Ah, oh, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap. Cheap. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Hongdae area. Uh, I lived in Austin, Texas before mm. coming to Korea. Mm. And Austin is like kind of a medium sized city, mm -hmm. but it has like live music, mm. a lot of like places to listen to live music. It that has a lot fun. of different types of food. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, I feel like Hongdae kind of really reminded me of Austin. Like, okay, so you usually will hang out there. So if we go, we can find you maybe. In Hongdae? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might see me. <laughs> yeah. How would you rate the entertainment in Seoul? You could never do everything there is to do, I guess. Like, yes. there's so much to do. I mean, there's so many different, like, animal cafes yeah. or, like, you know, concerts or festivals or, like, like craft things like make your own perfume, make your own jewelry, oh. make your own candles or, like, anything you want to do, any sports. So, like, go yeah. do archery. Like, you can find a place to do it ah. <laughs> and you'll never be able to do everything ah. so yeah so what so far has been your favorite probably archery i was like i am katniss everdeen yes <laughs> that's amazing and you mentioned before about animal cafes so for mm -hmm. all of you at home who don't know what an animal cafe is because we don't have those in our country <laughs> yeah. typically animal mm -hmm. cafes are literally having animals of whatever type of cafe it is and you can go and interact with them so there's cat cafes there's dog cafes so you can either bring your own dog sometimes they have their own dogs there as well i've seen parrot cafes what kind of animal oh, cafes? Wow. Can, yeah there's a i mean dog sheep cafe, sheep cafe. <laughs> yeah. there what? used to be a raccoon cafe i don't know if it's i've heard of that too it. yeah mm -hmm. i heard but there's i heard everything. raccoons are a little like nasty they, though they may be a little scary oh. <laughs> i haven't been there can they please have like a baby pig one Oh, because I would go cute. there for sure. Only babies. So. Yeah, just the, well, you can't have big suckers walking yeah. around. I know you like to bar hop. You like to go out. So I'm guessing you're going to rate it pretty high. Yeah, first. Mm. 10 to 10. 10, 10, out of 10. 10 out of 10. Entertainment. Yeah, it's so Through fun. Through the roof. One of the best bar I've ever been is bar with the games, arcade mm. games. Mm. Uh, I've never been that kind of bar in my life. So mm. that was so interesting for me. Uh, if I have to rate out of 10, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say 
eight because um, depending of what you want to do, you can went to a lot of place. Yeah. Uh, like for example, um, if you prefer to go to Norebang, mm. it's very Korean. You have so many places where you can just go and sing with your friends. Mm -hmm. So it's a must to do. And you can also go to bar mm -hmm. if you want to. There is a lot of them and you have large scale of alcohol possible. Like mm -hmm. you have the Korean one, but most of the time they also have foreign one. Mm -hmm. So it's good for that. If you don't want to go out, you can also just go to museum because there mm -hmm. is a lot of museum everywhere. Yeah. Also, a Noriban, for those of you who don't know, is sort of like karaoke. Okay, karaoke, but it's like your own room. So you get a bunch of people, you go to the Noribang, the singing room together, and you can sing whatever you want. So it's really fun, you have to do it. There are lots of happening that happens like everywhere in Seoul, like mm. for Solal. We, we went to the Agnok village near Namsan, mm. and there were performance of dance, mm. traditional dance Ooh. and pansori and things like that. Mm. And you could even ask for them to write a, a motto for you, your, um, the year oh, that is coming. Wow, yeah, like sick. traditional calligraphy. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it was like, everything was free. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so it was really nice. Oh, just like great. Just follow some Facebook page, Instagram page that yes. have like a lot of tips to, of mm. things to do for Solar. It was really nice to see oh. some traditional aspects of the culture. Mm. So, Solar yeah. is Lunar New Year. Yeah, Lunar New Year. Following the lunar calendar, the New Year is a huge holiday in Korea, probably the biggest one. That one and the Chuseok, which is like Thanksgiving. I think a lot of people have a misconception that if they come to Korea that they're only going to be able to get Korean food. But in your experience, have you been able to find like a lot of other nations' foods? Oh yeah, I mean, there are like there are a lot of like halal, there's a lot of, like there's a Sudanese restaurant. Oh. I think there's a Nigerian restaurant. My family's actually Nigerian American, but cool. I haven't been there. But um, I think there, or there was an Ethiopian restaurant. Oh, yeah, there I love is Ethiopian food. Ethiopian so restaurant, good. a lot of Indian restaurants. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's some type of food you like, you can probably find it. It won't be 100% authentic, but it'll be like, if you're missing home, yeah, <laughs> you can yes. try it out, yeah. Any foodies, like, <laughs> Come on, of there's course. Never, there's always something like a cool new restaurant to try or any like influencer types. There's oh. always a cool like restaurant or cafe to go and also get good food, but also have like take your picture in cool like yeah. Instagram -y ways. Yes, <laughs> so, yes, yes. Yeah. There's many Instagrammable moments <laughs> yeah. happening in Seoul. That's true. Mm, it's really spicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> the, yeah, they, they put the gochujang sauce like yes. everywhere, and I kind of find it difficult because I'm vegetarian. Ah, so usually they put a lot of meat everywhere. Yes, but you can find like a lot of things without meat, meat or so. So Ooh. it's it's okay. And I think it's changing a little bit too because I've even noticed in a lot of the supermarkets there's a lot of like more meatless options, mm -hmm. like yeah. like tofu chicken nuggets and stuff like that like they're starting to because when i first came here there was nothing so yeah. it, maybe it's getting a little better yeah and you get like traditional dishes that you can eat like sundubu chige it's really really nice yeah and usually they don't put meat inside so right right it's great but um, you have to check before but yeah. it's okay you can live as a, as a vegetarian yeah. here <laughs> it's doable you can do it yeah. as a vegetarian <laughs> here. yeah it's a little possible. effort yeah a little yeah. effort but it's, it's manageable But wait, there's more! We had so many things to talk about regarding living in Seoul, so we made you guys a part two. Thank you so much for watching our first video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click on part two for more!